Who's that game? Hello and welcome to Who's That Game? This is Wings of St. Nazir. Nazir? Nazir? I'm not sure. Uh, anyway, this is an uh, this is an alpha build of what looks to be a very promising uh, wing commander slash um, X-wing kind of space combat extraordinaire. And uh, while the title doesn't really grab me because I don't know what the hell it means or stands for, um, I gotta say uh, I, I do like the intro sequence. I think it's I think it's very well done. Uh, so let's see. Uh, neat feature, if I move the mouse, the, the cursor, well, the, the menu sort of tilts to face it. Um, I'm going to check the options real quick. Uh, check the controls. Because you can, if you choose, to use a controller. And I think that I will. Uh, although I never did quite figure out how to fire missiles. <laughs> uh, that's alright. I'm going to have some fun, I think. I was a huge fan of Wing Commander 3, 4, and uh, Prophecy. Uh, did not get to play too much of the X-Wing series, but uh, we're going to take a look at this and see how, how much I like it. I'm pretty sure it's not going to be an issue, judging by the things I've seen so far. Uh, gotta say, I'm kind of a fan of the art design so far. Um, some quality stuff here. Uh, although, a, a sort of strange reliance on orange, I think. And, uh, the game may have just frozen on me. Nope, nope, here we go. <laughs> okay. <laughs> Had me concerned for a second. Alright. Cool little launch sequence here. Reminds me of, uh, reminds me of Wing Commander Prophecy, honestly. Very good, although I think a lot of that was two-dimensional and not, uh... Oh, bad guys. Bad guys, no! Take that! Uh, more of them. Oh no, those are good guys. You can tell because they're firing blue. I <laughs> uh, don't want to fire on the ship. Uh, I don't know what I'm doing. No, get back here. Get back here. Okay. This gun fires really slowly. Ooh, I like the music. Music's some solid stuff, too. Uh, can I change the guns? I can change the missiles. Which, stands to reason then I'd be able to change the guns. Uh, here we go, I changed it to an LTAC. Ah. Rapid fire murder bullets. Come on, take him down! Take him down! Oh, well, I think I got him. Oh! Awesome. That was satisfying. Although I do have to ask why the explosions are pink. It seems an odd color for explosions. Really? Oh. Mm, Alright. Get on his tail. Oh! How you like me now? Coming back around. Slow down to make the turns. And then speed up coming out of him. <laughs> uh, I gotta say, uh, this is this is really I, I'm I'm really pleased with this. I'm like that there there literally was not enough space combat goodness. In uh, <laughs> in the gaming world, in my life, per se. So this is nice to have. Nope. Oh, more bad guys coming in. Uh, gotta try and figure out the missile system. See if I can't. Can I lock onto this? Yes, I can. Okay. Square buttons to lock on. Good. Might have been a good idea to pay more attention to that. I, I'm a particular fan of... Oh, I got him long distance. Excellent. Uh, I'm a particular fan of this uh, this particular gun uh, because it does not seem to run out or it doesn't use as much... It doesn't use as much energy as the others. Uh, oh, did I lock on him? 
Gotcha! Oh! Flew right through the explosion. Awesome. Um... Yeah, yeah, th this is... this is solid. I, I like this. Uh, I... I hope they genuinely do some... Oh! Gotcha! Kaboom! Took a while to get there. Yeah, slow down, let your jet pass me, and then speed back up. Oh, oh. Don't want to hit my buddies. I'm like, I'm sorry, sir, you have three highly proficient space badasses on your tail. This is not going to end well for you. Oh, no, your day is over. Boom! Again, don't really know the reason or the purpose behind the pink explosions, but I'm okay with that. I should probably try some missiles, I think. Let's see how that works out. Uh, but first, I would need a bit... Oh, are we... Can we take... Oh, oh dear. Okay, that's a whole cloud of them. Did not realize this game would be approaching... Uh, Battle of Endor proportions. Those explosions are very pink, but very satisfying. <laughs> there's nothing, there's nothing wrong with pink. It takes a real man to blow up in pink. <laughs> oh, he's gone. Good day, sir. Oh, there's, there's a whole mess of them. Oh dear. Okay. Okay. I assume I have afterburners, but I have not yet used them. Nope. I'm staying with you. Don't you don't you try and get away. Oh, you're mine, buddy. Gotcha. Slow down. Catch back up. Whoa. Okay, you gotta have afterburners, because that guy just boosted through like crazy fast. But then his might be a lighter ship than mine. No, where are you going? Oh, you're not the same one I was shooting at, but it doesn't matter. I will take you out all the same. I'm gonna slow down, though, because I almost ran right into your engines. Ah, oh, damn it. Ah, uh, no! You are mine! Peace out! Oh, yes! That is immensely satisfying. Uh, so I noticed there's a fuel gauge. Uh, I'm hoping that doesn't end up being a problem later. Um, I don't feel like I've been getting hit a lot, which... which confuses me a little bit. Just a little. I'm like... I'm not sure. Oh, I know that there's a bad guy right behind me, but apparently he's been around me. Uh, you might be invincible during this, uh, alpha slash demo. I'm not sure. I probably should have taken more than a few hits by now. Kaboom! Yeah, this gun probably doesn't do a lot of damage, but it gets the job done. And... Uh, for, for someone operating with a controller, which is probably not the best control for this kind of game, uh, it allows me to get in it allows me to be more effective than I might otherwise be because I can because I can get in a lot of little hits instead of one big one again I keep forgetting to try my missiles this is a problem I have with uh, Wing Commander as well I'm horrible at, at firing off missiles okay it's not the right bumper was that me? I, I guess it was no that was not me Oh, oh, more! Holy crap! The clouds just get bigger. This is definitely, uh... This is definitely, uh, Endor proportions. <laughs> oh, jeez. 
I like the light effects. Uh, I like the spaceship design. To me, it's interesting. Um, uh, again, it would help if this was tied to an established franchise. Um, I don't know, just because... But, I mean, all franchises have to come from somewhere, you know? They can't all be X-Wings and, uh... And, uh, what are the ships from Wing Commander Hornets? Or Excaliburs? I remember those. Okay. A lot of guys shooting at me. I should definitely be feeling some hurt at this point. Uh, but, uh, like I said, you might be invincible just so that the game lets you try out and enjoy the the combat engine, which is able to support a large number of enemies. So that's that's a definite plus. But then, space games have been able to do this for a while. You know, so I guess it's not that... Well, it, it wouldn't be that impressive if it was done by a big company. This is made by just three guys, if I understand correctly. Uh, one of whom is doing all the programming. So, props to those guys, man. Full-scale space engagements. I, I would love to see uh, some cap ship action as well. I mean, I know they're there, but... Yes, I decided I wanted to watch him explode. Uh... Oh, dear. Uh, there we go. If we don't have invincibility, then my ship can take a stupid amount of damage. Okay, and I changed I changed missiles again without ever actually firing one. Okay, uh, the left bumper is some sort of... The left bumper is a, a, a cinematic camera kind of deal. Uh, square button changes missiles, but doesn't actually fire them, I don't think. Unless I'm missing something. I could be. I better slow down. I'm about to crawl right up his... <laughs> oh, dear. <laughs> Gunfire coming from everywhere. Yeah, just, uh, just three guys made this. Uh, in their spare time. This was not... Uh, you know, like, they did not... As far as I know, they didn't leave their jobs to do this. Uh, I believe what I read from the one, the lead per, or the lead artist, and the guy whose idea all of this was, uh, is that he is, he's still working and he does all this in his spare time. So, kudos to him. Um, the action is good, the music's good too. Uh, surprisingly solid stuff. Um, rather epic and cinematic in scale. Oh my goodness. I had four Death Stars on me. <laughs> I'm like, where are the other guys backing me up? Are they already dead? I mean, they could be. Would not surprise me in the slightest. Uh, isn't fuel going to be an option, a problem at some point? Perhaps. I don't know. I'm having too much fun. <laughs> like, the hell with it. I'm just going to shoot at anyone who comes around. Well, that's probably not a wise idea. Speed up, get behind him, stay behind him, and just inflict punishment. Take that, you rotten bastard. Oh, no you don't. Yeah, if I, if I had one criticism of the music, it would be that maybe that, maybe that angelic human voice in the, in the background of it doesn't need to be, uh, singing the whole time. <laughs> but otherwise, uh, I gotta say, I'm a fan of the sound design, overall. Although I'm still trying to figure out how to shoot... <laughs> I'm still trying to figure out how to shoot my missiles. <laughs> I know I have them. I just can't figure out how to fire them. Uh, the option screen said button 5, which, by computer PC game logic, I have no idea what button that actually is. 
I wish it said on a 360 controller, because it, it recognized the 360 controller. It says the controller detected, 360 controller for Windows. But it does not say circle, or it does not say button A, B, Y, or X. It just says button 5, which means nothing to an Xbox 360 controller uh, user, unless they're extremely familiar. Okay, I, I took a butt-ton of damage to my forward shields just then. Nothing happened. So I'm pretty sure I'm definitely uh, invincible, at least as far as this alpha is concerned. Oh man, I honestly hope, I honestly hope that this game will feature, uh, will feature a story and voice acting, because I'm gonna throw my hat into the ring for that, just just right now. Uh, you guys need a voice actor? Hit me up. I will totally do this for free. Uh, yeah. So, ooh, individual parts flying around. Awesome. So, yeah, the, I don't know that the ships I'm fighting are in full 3D, but it's hard to tell. Which, if they're not in full 3D, that's fairly impressive that they made it so I can't be sure. So I can take their shields down, but they can't take mine down. It probably wouldn't have hurt the Alpha too much to have this be uh, a bit of a challenge, you know? <clears throat> have it so that I could die. Or perhaps at this point absolutely would die. I mean, come on. <laughs> I was surrounded by the, the cavalcade of bad guys. Okay. I think I got him. Did I get him? No. He is still coming at me. There we go. Afterburner, stay on him. Okay, so if you push the throttle past... What is that? Apparently there's a bad guy over there, but... He's either hiding behind... That ship where he's inside it. Where that is a ship. Can I take this thing out? Then I don't know. Well, I maybe. Ah! Oh dear. I just collided with it. I should probably Yeah! Holy crap. Did I kill that thing by crashing into it? Because if so, that is insane. And just and, and just complete and final proof that uh, I am completely invincible in this in this alpha. I don't think I need any more evidence. Ah, slow down. That may be caused by my recording software. I don't know. Or it could be a sign that the engine could use a little tightening up. I don't know. Again, it has it. It has not happened in, uh, in, in the first round of play. Well, you know, chalk me up a fan. Um, it's, it's still very early, like I said, it's an alpha. Um, but there's so much promise here that I cannot help but be a fan of this and want to follow it and be a part of it if I can. Uh, the Frequently Asked Questions page mentioned that they were thinking about a, or, or they were going to have a Kickstarter at some future point. Uh, but again, uh, that's pretty much all I know about it. Oh, come on. Go down, you bastard. Boom! Gotcha. Alright. I'm gonna try and take out this last wave. So sick of these guys. Plus, I kind of want to see if there actually is an ending. If they go, holy crap, dude, <laughs> you actually stuck with it and killed everything there is. Although, that may not be an option, because I'm apparently running desperately out of fuel. But I'm going to stick to it. I can take these bastards out. One fewer. Although, again, it would be helpful if I could fire my missiles. Uh, 
come on, come on. What you got, huh? What you got? Nothing, thanks to slowdown. Little frame rate hiccup. Again, can't be sure whether the frame rate was caused by, uh, by me or not, by my recording. Nope. I am staying on you, brother. Kaboom! Okay, there's only two left. I gotta be able to take these guys out. Oh man, I'm running out of fuel. Frame rate's making it hard for me to track this guy. Come on! There's only two left! Let me get through it! Okay. Jeez. Man, that is awful. <laughs> Come on, you bastard! No, no, speed up. Stay behind him. Stay behind him. Make the bastard go boom! Yeah! Suck it, buddy! I don't care if we collide. Go boom. Yeah, from here you can definitely tell it's 2D. Did I just win? Did I just... What just happened? Like, the music changed. Oh dear god, man! There's another huge wing of these guys. I... Yeah, I'm not gonna sort of keep doing this. Um, so yeah, so obviously, look at this crap. Uh, yeah, obviously there is uh, 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 a lot of potential here. Uh, I mean, I'm excited to see what kind of final product they can. This is insane. Look at that radar screen. Oh my god. It's a total nightmare. Uh, all right. Um, I think I've just about broken the alpha. Um, so I'm just going to... <laughs> I, I, I'm just gonna uh, call it at this point. So that's uh, Who's That Game? Uh, and that's Wings of St. Nazir. Um, if you like my stuff, feel free to check out the Pantsless Shorts YouTube channel. Uh, and of course, check out everything else that Leviathan has to offer. I'm Pantsless Aaron, and enjoy whatever you're playing. <laughs>